Hello everybody and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Crash Landing for episode 22. And at the end of last episode, we were trying to set up this stuff over here and uh, trying to automate our soul sand production so that we could start sifting through it and getting a bunch of other cool stuff that would help us progress on with some of our other quest lines. Now, the problem arose when we were trying to add unlimited amounts of water to all of these barrels because the way you make soul sand is you add normal sand to a barrel filled with witch water, which is got by leaving a barrel of water near some mycelium now the downside here is that we had no way of getting unlimited amounts of water into uh, these barrels but thanks to somebody in the comment section sorry i forgot your name but i'll put a link on screen uh, i'll put a little image on screen if you comment and a link in the description to the imager link that i was sent because it's a really helpful little guide right there and it shows you step by step how to automate the production of water into barrels and it's actually really useful so thanks again for that very very useful so what we're going to do is i thought i saw a creeper over there then, but it's just the qds system what we're going to do is we're going to start by picking up all of these barrels over here because we uh, I think we need to we need them to be a bit further forward in order for this to work So let's grab our axe and I think I'm gonna go to sleep a little, little bit because I've, I've had mobs spawning on me Just like randomly inside the compound a bit and I'm not sure what that is I have blocked off the um, the path going to the outside, but I think there's a, a spot somewhere still It's a bit a bit um, vulnerable to mob spawning. So let's get rid of all these guys for now we're going to move these because we need a bit of space behind the barrels. So I'm going to take all of those and I'm going to put them down, I think, just in front here. Because it still has to be right next to the mycelium uh, in order for the witch water to work. So we're going to do that. We're going to take this stuff down here. Uh, that's filled with sand, so I don't really want to do much with that just yet. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the same as we did before. We're going to have stuff like this. So basically this gets the soul sand and puts it there, the normal sand, and puts it into the barrels, which will hopefully be filled with witch water. And now all we've got to do is automate the water. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use this uh, etching acid over here. Now, uh, I'm still not sure if this is a, a, like a bug or not, the fact that this produces real water, or if it's supposed to be like that. Um, if it is supposed to be like that, then this will hopefully work for like ever and ever and ever, which is great. Uh, if it's not, then this could be a little bit of a problem, but we'll find out, I guess. So we're going to have, I think... The etching acid, hmm, where do I want this? We're going to have a chest filled with sand. No, we're not. We're going to have a chest filled with glass bottles. And that's going to take the glass bottles and put them into the auto... We're going to have it go into an autonomous activator. The autonomous activator is then going to right-click those bottles on the etching acid. But we need to have an item duct between there and there. Although we could have it there. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it this way. So we'll have a chest down over there. Let's quickly make ourselves a, a crafting station so we can craft over here. So we have to run inside if we want to do up. So we'll put that down. We will take you back. And unfortunately, we don't have a wrench, which is a bit of a pain, but that's fine. We'll take you and we will go chest time. So we'll throw a chest down here. And then we're going to have an item duct going there into an autonomous activator that we'll get in a second. We'll put the thing there and then the etching acid can go there. So now we're going to have an autonomous activator there that then has pipes going into... Uh, it's going to grab the water, and then the water bottles are going to go via item duct into... Oh, actually, I don't think we need an item duct even. Just via the um, the output on the autonomous activator into a fluid transposer. One of these guys over here. So, let's grab our Invar Battle Wrench, which works the same as a normal wrench as well, by the way, guys. Uh, just you can attack with it, and it does 7 damage, which is quite nice, or 6. So, it's like an iron sword combined with a wrench, which is pretty cool. So, once we've got our fluid transposer, we can stick this guy down right here. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the bottles and put the bottles in here. We want it to go that way. The bottles are going to go in here and get sent through into here. And they're going to fill up. And then there'll be an empty bottle here. We can then have that empty bottle loop back around into this chest and repeat the process. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have that empty bottle. We're going to have this here, the yellow output side, go something like this. And then that, that empty output side there will go into... Actually, let's do it on top. That's going to be easier. We're going to have that yellow output side of liquid go into a drum from extra utilities. So we're going to make another one of those, which is going to require some iron. I think we might have all of the stone we already need to make this. Let's have a quick look-see here. Uh, we've got seven stone there. I think that's almost enough if we have some stone slabs, which we may have somewhere. Da -da -da. Uh, we have some more stone there, so that should be enough. Okay, so we need a stone barrel, which is something like you. And I believe you. And then we combine that with two iron pressure plates. And a bunch of iron, I think. Off the top of my head. Is it like this, this, and this? Nice. That gets us a drum. So we'll take the drum. We are going to need some fluid ducts as well. Do we happen to have... 
some line. Now we've got two. We may have to make some more fluid ducks, but that's not too big of a deal. They're not all that hard to make uh, anyway. So that's going to go on top of here. So I'm not sure if... Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna try putting it there and see if that works. I'm not sure if it does. If it doesn't, we could just have another another um, uh, fluid duct going into the tank, and then we're gonna have another fluid duct taking the uh, the water out of the drum and into the barrels like so. And that is gonna fill them all up with water, which is pretty flipping cool. So the only piece of the puzzle that we are missing right now is our autonomous activator. Now the autonomous activator does require another one of these PRC uh, LX expansion cards so we are going to need another one of those. So for that we're going to need three of you, three of you and one of you in a crafting tablet. So we'll go, I think it's shapeless. I'm not, I think so. Yeah, there we go. That gets another one of those. I think we may actually be missing the Invar and Electrum uh, which is a bit odd. We have the two Electrum, we need the Invar and we don't have any Ferris? Really? Really? I could swear we should have some feathers somewhere. Let's have a look. Uh, actually, maybe... Hmm. Hmm. Let me check over here. Maybe Ferris isn't being cooked. Right. <laughs> yeah. This flipping slag. We seriously need to go and uh, and get another one of these drains going. Because that slag is just a pain. Let's see. Do we have any Ferris? So we've got copper, iron, gold, lead, silver. Really? Is Ferris not... Hmm. Let's have a look. If we look up dust, actually, let's just press U on the dust. We can see it gets sieved through. We get gold, uh, aluminium, copper, tin, lead, silver, and iron. Actually, yeah, okay, so we don't actually get any uh, any ferrous from doing that stuff, which is kind of a shame because we could really do with some ferrous. Uh, that's broken iron, copper, gold, tin, aluminium, nickel, nickel will do. There we go. We'll take four of you, craft you up. And we'll go smelt this down in the smelt tray. Should get us two more. Actually, I'm going to... Hmm. Hmm. Let's try. I'm going to try see if I can do it in the uh, high oven here. I'm going to break it into uh, gravel ore and then into dust. I'm just going to see if we can do it in the high oven. Because that would be a lot nicer for getting us more for our ore. So, let's break this guy. Uh, we'll get rid of the slag. We've got a ton of the stuff. That gets us nickel ore dust. And I'm assuming this nickel ore dust should just smelt up... Uh, in here like everything else does. Um, go away. Nickel or dust. I'm hoping that gets us three nickel, which we can then use to make um, hopefully more than four invar, which, yeah, we'll definitely get more than four invar, which means we can make this machine frame pretty easily. Do you get us the right amount of that? Maybe <laughs> this is like, we seriously, uh, gah! We did get ourselves a bunch of um, seared bricks from, I didn't put them in here, I think I put them inside, uh, from our a little uh, visit to the city out there. So I think I'm going to do is, is turn them into seared stone, make some more of these seared bricks, and make another one of these uh, scotch ducks. Actually, I think I made two more. One so that we can pull out the slag, and one so that we can have a constant stream of, uh, of blocks of charcoal going in as well, which would be very nice. So we'll take three of you, and we'll take um, some iron. So we'll throw you in there. Three of you, and then we need six of you. That's right, yeah. So that should get us, uh, that should actually get us nine fer uh, nine invar as well, which is pretty cool. All right, what else do we need? We've got pretty much everything we need for that. I'm pretty sure we've got some glass inside, a chest, a pneumatic server, and two tins. So let's, we've got the tin. Chest is not really hard to get. And I'm pretty sure we got the pneumatic servo as a reward for something not so long ago. Let's quickly eat food. That would be a good place to start. I really need to get rid of some junk that we're not using right now. Uh, I'll get rid of you. I'll keep the item ducts. We are using those. Uh, you can go away. We're going to eat that iron bones. Not really. There we go. All right, let's eat some food. And let's fill up on water because we're 89% water down there. All right. One, two, three. Okay, uh, right. I think we have a server. I think we have a couple of servers in here, actually. Let's have a look. Do we have... Yeah, look at that. There we go. Good stuff. And then this guy, hopefully, will be close to finished. There we go. And that is nine molten invar. Nice. So we are going to have to uh, stop this for a little bit, but that's fine. There we go. So did that... Did that put them... Is that going to end up in there? I think it is. I think we're going to end up with a casting basin in here in a second. Because I think the hopper just ate that up. There we go. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we'll throw you down there with one of you. And here we go. Oh, we've got a flipping cat. Look at this. We're just putting down crafting tables all over the place. All right. So. You there. Electrum there and there. We are going to need some more gold. Let's go grab that real quick. No, some more glass even, not gold. I think we have like quite a bit in here. Thank you very much. 
and we'll just throw that into here. That's that, and then boom. Nice. So we got ourselves the autonomous activator there, and we should now just be able to put this down here. We may have to swizzle it around a bit. Got to be careful not to break that. There we go. That works. And then we want to ha actually, yeah, we're going to have to move this a little bit um, because we want to be able to whitelist some stuff. So we're going to move that, and we're going to move you as well across one to here. And the reason for that is because we want the fluid transpose like that, and we want to be able to um, specify what we're going to pull out there. So we are going to have to grab another server. And that is because by if we just set it to pull stuff out, it's going to pull out the... Um, where's our stuff gone? It's going to pull out the empty bottles. Actually, I'll take some empty bottles. It's going to pull out the empty bottles as soon as you go in before they get filled up. So what we want to do is we want to fill up one of these bottles, like so. Like that. And then on here, we're going to make this an output. We're going to add the server. And we're going to whitelist four bottles of water. So that should work quite nice. So let's pick that back up. We want to have a lever like here because we don't actually need this to do anything other than just pull out everything in there. So we'll do that like that. Did we dump our lever in this chest? Uh, do, 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 do. I don't know, but we can make another one fairly easily. So I'll stick that down over there. And now that should automatically put, and we want to set this to right click. Uh, it's already set to right click. And then we'll put the glass bottles in there. They should get pulled out of this chest and into here as long as this side's an input. There we go. So that fills it up. It's drinking it. <laughs> there we go. And that should, as long as this left side is blue. Maybe. Not quite sure where they're going. That seems to be simulating... Hmm. Oh, yeah, this is not set to... Right, okay. I see what's happening there. Right, so we need to make this uh, auto-ignore. There we go. So now that should work. It should automatically pull that out. Really? Not gonna... Not gonna do that for me? Whitelist what? Let's try that again. Let's put some of those in there. Uh, wrong, wrong, wrong item. That's... Sh oh! No! 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 Oh. No! Oh. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. <sighs> I'll be back in a second, guys, once I've got some more etching acid. Jeez. All right. Fuck it. Okay, so a little while later, and I am pretty sure I now have this set up right. So what we have is we have the same setup we had before. The problem was we didn't have this side here set to an output. So make sure this here is orange and ready to output. Make sure this is set to uh, set to go. Redstone in it, ignored. Whitelisted water bottles. Because what it was doing before is it was taking the filling up the water bottles, but then the aqueous accumulator was actually drinking the water. And of course, when it was drinking the water, it was just somehow also eating up the water bottle itself. Uh, the empty glass bottle i'm not quite sure what was happening there but it was just getting rid of stuff but uh, if we just quickly drink say this bottle of water here and throw that no nope, quick get that back on and we throw this into here it should go around into there fill up get pulled out and end up in here there we go and then, as you can see, I do have power set up here now as well. All I did for that was I made a bunch more Let's Energy Conduits, headed down here. And it's a bit messy, but I went underground, underground a little bit and around like that. The reason I did that is because if I did it anywhere above ground, I wouldn't be able to walk down this corridor. Which means if anything broke or I wanted to get back down there, it'd be a real pain. So yeah, I just went forward and to the left and that set up just nicely. So... All that stuff is now working just fine. So, let's have a quick look and see if this works. It does. For some reason, it's brown, which is a bit odd. I would have assumed it to be, uh, to be like, blue, but that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. It doesn't matter what color it is. Now, all we need is some copper and, I believe, some lead, I think, to make ourselves some more fluid ducts. I always get this wrong. Is it, like, lead or is it tin? I think it's lead. If we do copper and lead, there we go. We'll make 12 more of those. And what we'll do, all we got to do is hook these up, I believe, like so. I think it does have to come out the top like that. And if we set these to output. And again, we could use a server here, but I think uh, it will be much more efficient just to go with a lever. Like so. No. 
do that. And that should start to fill this with water. Nice. Okay, so that works. That all works very nicely. The only thing we've got to do now is, is hook this up so that these go back round. So we want to have it go something like... I'm thinking we swizzle this round just a little bit like that. And again, make sure that red side there is an input for blue. And then make sure this side here, which I think is now the back, is an output for red. There we go. And then we're going to have it go across. Oh, gosh. Don't, don't, nope, no. Nope, I don't want to die in here. Jeez. Flipping heck. All right. So we're going to have it, th I think, come out here across disconnect there we're gonna have to do some uh, i have to I think, we have, I think we have covers right so we do okay we'll make some uh, some multi parts in just a second and then we're gonna have it go underneath here careful not to break the acid which i think we're gonna do i'm really scared of this um all right let's this is a, this is really compact right let's let's try do this without breaking stuff Is it there? Go away! This etching acid shouldn't still be here. There we go. Whew. All right. Um, okay, so I think that needs to go there. And then there. Right. I think I did that right. Let's, let's have a look. Okay, I did. Right. So now that should go out from here. Down one. There's still one under there I need to get rid of. That's fine. And then down again and into the thing below the chest right there. So that should work just fine. So we'll go like that. We'll go like that just to be safe. And we'll put you down there. Okay. That should work perfectly. And then all we're going to do is we'll get rid of you. We'll go ahead and get rid of that unnecessary excess uh, one that's down there. Can I get to that one? So now it should come out of the bottom, out of this side, go around, down, and then under and to the chest. Yeah, so that should work just fine. And we want to make sure that, uh, I don't think we have to do anything apart from just set that to output. And that should send them around, and that should that should work just, actually, mm, mm, okay. <laughs> it should, for the most part, work just fine. We're going to change that for now, though. We're going to make that, we're going to turn it off, just because we need to cover this up first. Otherwise, we're going to get some weird looping situation going. So, all we need to do for that is we need to start using some forge micro blocks. And in order to do that, we're going to need a saw. Saw is not too hard to make. We can make a stone saw. It's just three stone sticks, some flint, and some sticks. Now, do we have any flint just sort of lying around in here somewhere? We've got a lot of slag. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The answer is no. We're going to have to run all the way. We have to eat some toast whilst we go all the way across to here. And there should be some in that iron chest where we were cooking up, uh, where we were sifting through the gravel before. Because gravel pretty much almost guarantees some, uh, some flint. So... We'll take you. Pretty sure you can make um, cobblestone sticks by just doing something like this. We can. We are going to need another set of those. Something is backed up here. I'll go check that out in a second. But then it's just this, normal sticks, and some flint. That gets us a saw. And then we can do something like this. Gets us slabs. Again, gets us panels. And again, gets us covers, which can be used to, uh, to stop item ducts connecting to each other. Uh, there might be a... I don't think there's an easier way of doing this to stop them uh, connecting like that. But this allows for just sort of like nice little compact systems where we can do something like this. There we go. And basically, that should stop that connecting now. And if we reconnect this, everything should be fine and dandy. So we'll do that. They should uh, empty out, but because they uh, didn't have any water, they're not going to. So we'll put them in there, and I think our system should work fine now. They should go into there, they should empty the water into here, and then they should loop back around and, and empty the stuff into there. It should just be a continuous loop. There we go, look, look, it's working. It's working. So we should see another bottle come in any second now. There we go. That comes in, and that's just going to loop continuously forever and ever and ever, which is pretty flipping cool. So, do we have any excess little um, bottles lying around anywhere? If we do, uh, I think I might throw them in there just to speed things up a little bit. Uh, da -da -da. Got two more in there, and no more elsewhere. Okay, that's fine. I think four should be more than enough. It seems to be going around pretty quickly anyway. So we'll throw you into there. That should loop around. And now the final bit of the puzzle is to get the water, to get the sand out of here 
once we have done all of the other stuff. You can see this one's got salt sand in it. Uh, for some reason, the rest of them have not yet got salt sand in. I'm wondering whether or not this is going to work with it going all the way across. It doesn't seem to want to. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'll look at that in a second. But the final bit that we can do is instead of having to pull them out by hand like we were just doing then, all we got to do is we can break underneath all of these. And again, thanks to that little link I had, it turns out you can just pull out using item ducts like so. Let's make ourselves a few more. And then we can ha basically just have at the end here another chest and have that filled with soul sand, which is pretty flipping cool. So we'll do this. We'll make ourselves another chest. We do have to set all these at the bottom to output, so we are going to make just a bunch more levers. I don't want to. I don't want to go ahead and do a bunch of flipping um, uh, servos. So I'll throw you down there. We'll grab a little bit of cobblestone, and we'll just do this. So one, two, three, four. Pick them back up. Throw them down like here. Uh, this is a bit of a. Uh, um, hmm. I wonder if I can put them down here. Does that work? If it does, it'll look a lot nicer. Uh, let's try this. Does that work? It does. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. So what we'll do is we'll just have lever, lever, lever. Set all these to output. This one here is going to be a bit of a pain. Um, oh, we might have to have one lever here. Can we cover these up with micro blocks? We can. That's kind of cool. Because I think what we can do with that then is... Do we still have the saw one as we don't? What we can do with that one is we can head back over here. The saw should still be in here, and I'm thinking that we should be able to make uh, sand covers. Oh, we can't. That's a bit. That's that's mean. We can't make dust covers, which is a bit of a shame. So at the minute we've got this little hole here, but that's we'll just, we'll just shh. No, no one will notice. No one will notice. It's fine. So that should work quite nicely in in giving us sand. Now the reason it's not working is because we need another lever on here. So we'll go boom, boom. Make one more little little lever over here. And things should be peachy. So we'll take you. We'll do something like this. And bada bing, bada boom. That should fill up all of these with salt sand, with normal sand. Turning them into salt sand, which should instantly get pulled out. And we should have ourselves an instant little uh, process of salt sand production. Now, still not... There we go. Salt sand done. Salt sand done. And we should see it coming in here any second now. That's, I've just put that one in. Two. Three, maybe? Three. There we go. Nice. Okay. Yes, it works. It works. It's a bit of a, a bit of an ice off from the top here. Look at this. Jeez. But it works. We have a fully automated system of soil sand production that is fully functioning. So what I think I'm going to do between this episode and next is I'm going to let this sort of uh, sit here and produce a load of soil sand. Uh, in the meantime, this will also produce a bunch of ingots and stuff. Um, because in order to progress, in order to do anything like with AE, with more machines and stuff like that, we're going to have to get a lot of a lot of more materials. We need a lot more uh, ingots. We're going to need a lot of the nether wart to get the speed upgrades and stuff going for pneumatic craft to get us more uh, flipping circuits so that we can start making more machines and doing a bunch more cool stuff. But with that, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.